Uh, I want to talk about some of the um, things they were discussing in the debate. Uh, maybe some people don't understand. If you understand, well, great for you. But I'm going to break it down for people who don't understand um, about the debate. A lot of it was a bunch of BS from both ends. That's that. That's what they're not telling you, and I'm going to tell you why. And 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 you take it from now. Basically, uh, the beginning of the uh, debate, it was talking about um, jobs was the topic. Jobs and how both parties was talking about how they want to start new jobs. And to me, Donald Trump had the better plan. But again, both sides BS. Um, Hillary, she just talking about um, creating a new job through taxing and investing in college, which, which we need that, but that has nothing to do with new jobs. So uh, again, you have to learn how to focus and listen to when people talking, where you're able to make a better decision on, on, on whoever you vote for, but technically speaking, it don't matter who you vote for. And I'm going to tell you why. Just based on what both of them said, I'm going to tell you why it don't matter. But um, <clears throat> uh, but I'm going to explain both sides of what they're saying, though. So her idea is more manufacturers, more jobs, more creating, and you do this by taxing the rich. Donald Trump, more the reason why I say he had more of a better plan because his plan made more sense based on the system and how the system is developed. That's why his plan makes more sense. Because if you basing this off of how they talking, then then you about to make the wrong decision anyway. But if you basing it off the system and how everything is ran, then Donald Trump have the better idea. And I, I'm again I'm going to tell you why. The reason why is you cannot you cannot um, big, get new businesses, new manufacturers. Again, you got to remember your skin color in all this conversation and new jobs by taxing the rich. You you cannot do that, and and, and it's not going to happen regardless. I mean, it, it didn't happen all these years when Obama was in office. How it's going to happen with the same idea that she's in office? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And what Donald Trump was trying to explain was, you have a bunch of new jobs, which, which that's why he had more of the better plan, because he dealt, he answered the question more efficient than Hillary. Because all Hillary basically saying is, we're going to start a new job by... By taxing the rich. That's basically what she was saying. And, and we're going to build new businesses, invest in the college, invest in the, That's basically what she said. And she haven't addressed the question. Donald Trump addressed the question because he dealt with the fact that you have companies leaving the United States. You have companies leaving the United States and going to other countries doing their business. With, which which um, they do their business over there cheaper. And they bring it in, then they bring it over here and makes the money. That's what Donald Trump was saying. And Donald Trump was saying, first of all, you got to stop people from going to another country. So his thing was, his thing was, okay, for an example, somebody like Nike, Reeboks, for instance, they go to China and they probably pay about one or two dollars for a pair of shoes to be made. Then they come back over here and sell it for two. 200 160 65 dollars so they don't triple their profit so what he was trying to say is this fine if you want to go to another country go into another country that's cool it's all Danny no problem we wish you good luck that's what he was saying but however if you plan on going to another country developing are producing your product and you want to come here in the United States and sell it, we have to tax it. That's what he was saying. Which which will which will encourage people not to leave. That's what he was doing. 
It said, okay, 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 we're going to get text here, so we might as well stay. This is what he was trying to say. And, and here's why Hillary ideal would never work. It haven't worked for years. And, 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 and this is, and I'm going to go through both of them. Why, it, it, why I say Donald Trump kind of have it, but it's still BS. Both sides BS. That's why it don't matter who you vote for. It's BS. Um, but I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. You can never tax the rich. That's just the reality of the picture. You can never tax the rich. Because when you tax, tax the rich, this is what you have to think of. Who's going to pay the taxes? Oh, the rich people. So you think they're going to pay the taxes. That's not how it's going to go down. Because you're thinking like an employee and you're not thinking like a business owner. When you start thinking like a business owner as an employee, then you can understand what's going to happen in the future. And this, this is what I'm talking about. Because you, if you think like a business person, here's the thing. When you tax the rich, or everything, everything going up because you're taxing them. And this is what's going to happen. You tax them, they say, okay, we'll pay the taxes, no problem. They start to fire people. They get rid of people for one. They start to do less business with other people. And the price of living goes up. So how is that taxing them? The only person paying for it when the price of living goes up. When people lose their jobs. And when they do less business with, the, with, with real small business. I'm not talking about small business in the terms they're talking about small business. I'm talking about real small business. I'm talking about moms and pops small business. They go out of business. You lose your job. And the cost of living goes up. That mean, that mean your mortgage, your rent, the gas, you name it, it all goes up. This is what they're not telling you under Hillary's plan. That's why when Obama did he did 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 everything, he he did it, yeah. But he didn't he didn't talk about the consequences behind doing it. Cause you can't tell a business owner or a corporation how many people they can have working for them. You can't control that. So what they want to do? They want to fire people as much as they can to keep the money in their pockets. That's under Hillary's plan. Under Donald Trump's plan. Okay, now we're going to go under Donald Trump plan. Donald Trump plan is this. We're, we're going to tax the rich. Give them big tax breaks. But guess what? Again, the middle class, the poor man, don't get the tax break. So again, you it's called a catch-22. Either way you go, you're fucked. Basically, and this is what they're not telling you. That's why I call it the game. That's why I say, Welcome to the game. Because either decision you make, you're fucked, black people. You raise it, people lose jobs. Cost of living goes up. It don't go in your pocket when the cost of living goes up. The money that, that, that they save by five people don't go in your pocket. It goes in their pocket. It goes in their pocket. With him, you just don't get the test break, but you still working like a slave. You still, you still going to suffer. You still going to go through it. Except for he just giving them a test break. So they might not lay you off. And they might stay because they don't want to get taxed outside of bringing their products in. That's the, that. That's it. That's it. Again, this all a game. And then, and a lot of y'all y'all getting carried away with this because you see a female face or because you see a Donald Trump face. I'm telling you straight up, it don't make a difference because I just broke it down to you. It's called a catch twenty two. 
Regardless of what choice you make, you're fucked. And I just explained why. I just explained why. So all this y'all getting crazy and all emotional about who's who, who's what. Look. Look. It don't make a difference. She said raise minimum wage. You raise minimum wage, the price of living going to get raised. So what's the point in raising it? What's the point? You don't believe me? Every time they raise the gas, what happened to everything else? Everything else goes up with gas. Why? Because they're not going to pay the difference for the price of gas. They say you're going to pay it. The middle class. The poor man. Everybody that's working at Burger King. Everybody that's working at Wendy's. Everybody working for UPS. Every, hey, you going to pay it. That's what they're saying. So regardless of how you look at it, you're fucked either way it go. Then, 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 then Donald Trump again kind of had a better plan. Because he said if you can remove the yellow tape where you have people that has money overseas that made their money overseas, they can bring it back in the United States without being taxed for that. Then they might be able to do something more as for make more businesses, as for make make more companies, stuff like that. So he kind of had a better plan, but no matter how you look at it, you fuck. Basically. Um, then they talk about the black people, the black community. That just to win your vote. That just that just the um trick you because at the end of the day, at the at the end of at the end of the hour. One thing Donald Trump said that was real. You've been doing this over 30 years. Why now are you coming up with a good idea? Police has been killing black people for a decade. What make you think better, com better relationship with the community going to make such a, such a terrible tragedy better? How? What make them think you are going to forget? Again, not human. Because only a crazy individual or a non-human individual thinks like that. That, oh, build better communities with, with, with the police that murdered, your, that murdered and the community. And yet, Nothing been addressed as for discipline, disciplining them when they're doing things that doesn't supposed to happen. They make these killings because they can't discern and because of their hate for that community. Period. 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 And you all constantly falling for the game. It's a game. It's a game. Law and order. Law and order. Law and order. When you black and you went through what we went through, who cares about law and order? You damn near murder a whole race of black people. And the only thing you can do is try to distract that with, oh, there's a lot of games. Over 4,000 people died. That's called distraction. People. That's why I tell you, you have to learn to focus. That's a distraction to take your mind off of what's really going on. In that case, again, it, it, nothing really was said. Except for, oh. Here's another distraction. That is true. Black men do go to jail for things that white men do that don't go to jail. Another distraction. Still not addressing the murder that police are committing. Still not addressing it. And you all thinking it's going to get better? It's not going to get better unless you make it better. 
It's not going to be better until we put our heads together to make it better. It's not going to get better. Whether it was a woman or a man in a church, just like it didn't make it better that a black man was sitting there. It's not. You not a part of the agenda. Period. 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 So no matter how you look at it, you fuck, and I just explained it. Whichever way it go, it don't even matter. That's how the game set up. Whatever choice you make, you're going to be fucked by the choice you make. If you don't make a choice, you're still going to be fucked regardless. And I just explained why. And the only way we go come out of this if we put our minds together, put our money together, and start doing business within our community. Period. Period. And number one, y'all have to stop that hate. Because that hate ain't get us nowhere. Nowhere. But, but, but left us vulnerable to be taken advantage of. Left us vulnerable to be killed. Left us vulnerable to be in the position we're in. That's all that did. And you have to learn to stop it. Because the government is not for you. Period. You behind enemy's line. You are a prisoner at war. Basically. Basically, that, that's what you are. You held captive. I just explained to you, whichever direction you go, how the ball is going to bounce. I just told you, this is how the ball is going to bounce. If you think you can, you can build a good, a, good, a good relationship with the police, I'm sorry, but your brain is not going to let you, even if you want to. Because God built you with a defense mechanism mentally that is mentally built in you to to when something horrific happens, your defense automatic clicks in without your permission. Just something I thought you need to know. If you have an idea that yeah, that can happen. Your mind will not want to let it happen. No matter how much you want it to. And that's just you not dealing with the reality of what's going on. Period. Period. I listened to it. But I just wonder how many of you all got it. So I'm just breaking it down in a simpler form. A simpler term. Much as I can. Much as I know how to break it down. But basically. That's what they said. Then. Um. I felt disappointed in Hillary, honestly, because she did a lot of laughing. She did a lot of jokes when Donald Trump clearly is pointing out her weaknesses. For those of you who don't know why he kept talking about the email, because a couple of people, what they were saying that it was an attack in a Bosnia where some people got killed. And it was saying they was they couldn't prove it, but it was saying it because Hillary Clinton email was hacked because she didn't use the email that she's supposed to use that is given to her as a federal for the federal government. So they said by her, her by her carelessness, her email was hacked because she was using an email like Google or like Yahoo that anybody could have could tap into and was able to point out certain people location to be murdered that's why and she was making little jokes about it when it's not even funny that a person dead and you call that a human response I'm keep telling you it's not and the only thing she got hey you know uh, but I take full responsible for it that's, I mean, somebody, this, people have families. 
Talking about people's lives at stake. What the hell are you taking responsibility for it going to do? How in the hell that's going to make it better? And this is how this country been ran business wise. You have a bunch of idiots in power, and the only thing they can say, I'll take responsibility for, how is that making anything better? That's why they said he won the election. That's why they were saying he was the best because he pointed out her weaknesses. And for those when you when you when 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 they when, when they and what they was hoping that you be ignorant to what's really going on that it makes Hillary look good. That's what they was hoping. So I'm breaking it down to you so you can understand why Donald Trump was on the attack. That's why when she said, "Oh, you don't show you don't show your taxes." He said, "Well, you don't show your emails, your emails, but he probably couldn't say what he wanted to say. But he put, but this is what he meant. You ain't show your emails where the people in Boston was killed. That's what he wanted to tell. But you learned about my taxes. And then he pointed out. Oh, then then he said something else. She said, it "Ain't my fault." He said, "If it ain't your fault, then who fault it is? Obama's. You gotta understand, he's on an attack, and she making jokes. Well, I'm preparing for to be the next president. Like what? What?" What the hell is she talking about? This man is out for blood. And she hoping that she gained your vote because she's a woman. Basically is what I'm getting. Because based on knowledge and, and pre 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 presentation, Donald Trump won all day. Hands down. Hands down, cause he like he said he understand business. Him, he he said it. She she pointed out, oh, you don't pay the people. He said maybe he ain't do a good job. What I'm a pay him for? I'm a businessman. The same thing. I'm a businessman. If you raise my taxes, I'm a fire people. I'm a businessman. I'm gonna do what's best for business. It's basically what he's telling telling her. If you if you raise if you tax the rich, we gonna do what's best for business. And we do what best for bid and need people out of jobs. That's basically what he's trying to say. So so either way, I'm telling you, whether you go to the left, whether you go to the right, guess what? You're screwed. You're screwed. And his idea is hopefully doing it my way. Maybe nobody will get fired. Maybe. So that's not a guarantee. That strategy will work. That's why it's important that we put our minds together. We have a lot of black accountants. We have a lot of black lawyers. We have a lot of people that 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 have that have what we need to do our own. The point is, we're not putting our minds to do it, cause we too busy being, we too busy having our ego stroke. Well, you have your ego stroke, and at the end of the day, you still don't have shit. At the end of the day, you paying a mortgage on a house you don't own. So have your ego. Have your fun. Have it. Because at the end of the day, you still don't own shit. And those in businesses, the small mom and pops, they getting ready to just wipe them out, wipe them right out. You heard them. Why you keep creating these regulations? Hillary, who going to suffer? People in small business who ain't got the money to keep up with the regulations. The people that you're going to turn on with Yellow Tape, where they can't start a business. Where they can't go nowhere. But then again, it ain't like he going to do any better either. Like I told you, caught between a catch-22. And moves have to be made and made fast. You don't have time to think. You don't have time. You have to make moves. And you have to come under one accord. And start working together as a unit. And start trying to be individuals. Because individuals haven't got you nowhere. Period. 
And I just explained the reason why. And I just explained what the ideas was. And why both of us is a bunch of BS. I just explained why. So you have to understand the game is against you. It's not for you. And the only difference that's going to be made. If we make it. Let me tell you something. When black people was in slavery. We made a way out. We was known to make a way out. We was known to create. We were known to rebuild. We were known to do this. We were known to take grass and make a garden out of it. We were known to create a way when there was no way. And we need to get back to that mindset of making a way for ourselves and our children and our community. And stop depending on the government. We got to get back to it. And the only way to do that, we have to control our money. And we have to back each other up. And we have to learn how to invest in each other's ideals and in each other's ways. And support it. And make it grow. Then you then you go into another fit and make that grow and make that grow and make that grow and to to, to you how I have a whole community that's grow that's how the game it, the game's over it, the playtime's over over there was football we're in the fourth quarter what you gonna do what you gonna do then with basketball you in the fourth quarter this is the fourth ending. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And I and I just explained to you, hey, and the, and the rest of the idea is definitely not for you. Definitely not for you. Definitely not. It's to keep you suppressed. It's to keep you down, intentionally, not mistakenly. It's not coincident. It's not they it just happen to have no. It's intention. It's done on purpose. It's done on purpose. I keep telling you, you're not a part of their seed. You're not a part of their seed. You're not a part of their seed. You're not a part of it. Uh, I, I remember a story in the Bible. <clears throat> I can't quote it. But I remember it. And I'm just going to summarize it in my own words. And in my own way. And a lady came to Jesus. And I, I, I really don't know what she wanted. I don't know if she wanted healing. <clears throat> I don't know if she wanted them to pray for him, But she wanted something. And Jesus said to her. The inheritance is for the master's children. I want you to pay attention to my wording. The inheritance is for the master's children. And the lady response to Jesus was this. Listen to the wording. Even the master let the dog lick the crumbs off the table. I'm going to say that one more time. Even the master let the dog lick the crumbs off the table. Preacher said, oh, that's because she a Gentile. She reduced herself to a dog. This ain't, what's, why? She reduced herself to a dog. Is the question. And Jesus saying it. The blessings is for the for the master. It's for the for the for the master's inheritance. For, for his children. That's what the blessing is for. And her response was say, even the master let the dog lick the crumb. Off the master's table. When you feed a dog, you put it in a dog bowl and you put it on the ground. She didn't say put it on the ground. She say off the table.
So what is she really saying? Is she saying she's a Gentile? She's saying she's another race. Because you got to remember Jesus was black. What is she saying? You know, you ain't think that deep. Because the preacher told you it means Gentile, huh? Just don't sound like a, a Gentile wording to me. She didn't say even the master feed the dog. See, it wasn't about feeding him. Because you, cause you got to understand, you could give a dog dog food. See, the dog food wasn't good enough. Pay attention. The dog food wasn't good enough. No, let me lick the crumbs off the master tail. Let me just have a little piece of your food. I'll be all right. It was the reason why Jesus said what he said. He didn't just say it just for you to say, oh, that's a Gentile. He specifically said it's for the heritage of the master's children. In other words, you're not a part of that seed to get that inheritance. It's what he's telling her. And her response was, yeah, that's true. Jesus said, I know it's true. And, but even the master let the dog lick the crumbs off the table. And Jesus' response to her was, by your faith you are healed. Because the point was already proven what he wanted to prove to you. We got to make it happen. We got to make it happen. We got to make it happen. That's the only way. We have to start our own. And we have to invest in each other. We have to start using each other gifts. We have to start using each other knowledge. We have to start using what we, each other has to make it. And stop, and stop trying to do it all by yourself. We have to start working together. We got to put it all in one bucket and make it grow. Make it grow. Make it grow. Make it grow. That's the only way we're going to get out of this. Peace. Think about it.